Ian, you know that um, we try to – pulls us back in. He pulls us back in. We thought we are out. Zack Snyder pulls us back in. Zack Snyder is the number one fucking edgelord. The original, maybe. The guy's got to be in the his original mid to late Lord. 40s. I mean, I don't know why he's not wearing like a spiked collar in this fucking <laughs> this image in like a shirt with a dead fetus on it. Um, is, that, is that a shirt? I don't know. That just seems like a thing an edgelord would do. Uh, so, um, our, <laughs> the, the, the intro to this article is great so vox has an, the, the, the news of this has been around zack snyder came out to talk about once again about how his movies are better and they'd have gang rape in them and um <laughs> and the intro to this is great though the, the writer who's the writer i gotta give him credit we gotta say what the topic of the of the conversation it's is. batman kills superman kills get over it uh but alex abad santos here leads in with Armed with the nefarious kind of energy that compels children to tell other children that there is no such thing as Santa Claus. <laughs> Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice director Zack Snyder wants fans of Batman and Superman to grow up and know that the characters kill people. Zack Snyder, by the way, is 52 years old. 52. Happy birthday. He's had a... Oh, excuse me, 53. He's had a birthday March 1st. Happy birthday, Zack Snyder. Looks good for 53. He's in shape. The tagline here, Batman v Superman director Zack Snyder doesn't think a non-lethal Batman could exist in real life. No shit! A lethal Batman couldn't exist in real life, uh, a, a non fucking... Any, any Batman couldn't exist because it's Batman. Yes. Have you seen the, the quote-unquote real-life superheroes we have? They are all fucking lame. They carry around pepper spray. Most of them are out of shape. They wear uh, they wear hockey pads and Kevlar. That's you are a walking, talking, fucking dunce cap, sir. This is absurd. It's it's fantasy, Mister Snyder. It's fantasy. Someone says to me, Ben Affleck's Batman killed the guy. I'm like, fuck, really? Wake the fuck up. <laughs> During a, during a Watchmen screen, uh, screen by the way, because this is the tenth this is the tenth anniversary of the Watchmen movie, and this is the problem. He he modeled the DCEU after Watchmen, which is and he and he fucked up Watchmen. I I know people like the Watchmen movie. You are all wrong, and I won't get into why right now. I did a Twitter thread recently when I believe it was Daniel Dwyer said, "Oh, uh, Zack Snyder's uh, Watchmen movie is a really good movie." come at me and oh did Patrick come at him with about 15 reasons off the top of my head why Watchmen is not a good movie who? Uh, against who uh, it was Daniel Dwyer who does the the, the, uh, the those short uh, documentary oh, uh, yeah, game yeah, films yeah, yeah. Waypoint yep he does those and boy Patrick knows a lot about Watchmen I've read the graph now about five times and I've done a little bit of research and Watchmen was not a good adapt. you can say it's a good movie it was not a good adaptation of Watchmen uh, which by the way they're doing a HBO sh uh, series Washington, which would probably be better. But Zack Snyder was given the keys to this kingdom based upon Watchmen. That's why he was given the keys to the DCU. That's why the DCU is in fucking shambles right now and why they have to do these soft reboots when, when the DCU has only existed for about four years. Can I just please <laughs> explain how this man makes me dislike him more every time I read? Oh, my God. Listen to this shit. What did he say? Listen to this shit. Then he explained how Watchmen, oh, his no. 2009 oh, film, no. is about the gritty reality of superheroes. Hold on. But it wasn't, hold on, though. Hold on, hold on. So he's talk he, he talks about Watchmen, and then he says, once you've lost your virginity to this fucking movie, and then you come and say to me something about, like, my superhero wouldn't do that, I'm like, are you serious? I'm like, down the fucking road on that. And then... Oh, my God. Okay, and, no, and, then, and then, hold on. No, no. It's a cool point of view to be like, my heroes are still innocent. My heroes didn't fucking lie to America. My heroes didn't embezzle money from their corporations. What? My heroes didn't commit any atrocities. That's cool, but you're living in a fucking dream world. Yeah, it's called fiction. It's called fiction. <laughs> what? It's a comic book. It's a fantasy. Oh my God, this dude sucks hemorrhoids for lunch. We're not reading Tom Clancy or Robert Ludlum. I'm not. It's a comic book, Mr. I, Snyder. It's pe fantasy. People That's the definition of it. People don't go to comic book movies to see reality. We see we see idealistic versions of heroes that we aspire to be. We see uh, we see parables of things that play upon real life. It's not real life. There are other movies that can do that. Yes, but that is not why comic books exist. Holy fucking shit! Sometimes we want an optimistic view of the world. Sometimes. 
there's a reason why I go to the gym, and almost every time you go to the gym, you see a, a person of every race, creed, with a Captain America shirt, because it's idealism. We aspire to be like Captain America. That's why I will cry in the movie theaters if he dies, because we aspire to be something greater than ourselves. That's why we read. That's why we read, we read Superman or even Batman. Holy shit! I gotta spill this out to the guy that ran the fucking DCEU. Warner Brothers, this is your fucking fault. And this is what I want to get back to. Once you've lost your virginity to this fucking movie, probably referencing Watchmen, the reason why Watchmen is is regarded as one of the best graphic novels of all time, it's a deconstruction of superhero tropes and, and stories. It's a deconstruction. That is supposed to be outside of the norm of the other superhero uh, tales that we were used to for the uh, 70, uh, 60 years of, uh, 50 years of, of superhero uh, tales that existed before that. The fact that he does not understand and get that still. Holy shit. Watchmen was not a model for other superhero movies to follow. It was supposed to be the one that shocked you because it was that different. It was not supposed to be the basis for your Superman and Batman movies right this is insane that we see this in black and white what we always thought and what other people uh postulated yeah. about this he just doesn't get it he just doesn't fucking get it he wants his superhero movies to be his personal prison rape filled super superhero that's movies. fine but don't do it but with superman it. and batman yeah then make up your own he's gross this is warner brothers fault like they should be fucking thrown off a cliff they, the amount of money that Warner Brothers has lost by going down the Zack Snyder path, they've lost potentially billions of dollars by you know, not having a successful DCEU. They his, really have. His type of edgy auteurism. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that was gone. I mean, that had a flash in the pan. That, that fucking grim, dark, everything has to be miserable thing. It's not even that popular anymore. So they ruined the Superman franchise. Batman has got rebooted. Affleck's out. The only ones that have been any success, somehow Suicide Squad made money, but they're soft rebooting that even. Uh, Wonder Woman, which is totally divorced from the Zack Snyder. Well, they stuff. have to and, reboot it and, because... And, and, and Aquaman, totally divorced from the Zack Snyder bullshit. They, they have to... They have to... Um, shit, what's the... They have to reboot it because it made money, but the reviews were crap. No one was... And, and he's still, I think it's still, I think Zack Snyder's still whining about his version of Justice League. Oh, yeah, I'm about, I was seen. about to pull that up because I think it was, I think he whined about it in this exact I'm one. curious about it. I'll watch it I'm not. to see what the original vision was. It probably won't be any better. It might be interesting. Zack Snyder is still talking about the better version of Justice League he never got to make. Let's see. Let's just see if we can get Snyder's directly addressing the nightmare scene in which Batman gets captured by some soldiers wearing Superman emblems before getting eye lasered. Snyder talked about how some of his can Justice League plans that. Blah, 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 blah. All right, what? Before we get into dismissing everyone who didn't like the movie where Batman murders people with guns as being part of a vocal minority is some Trumpy bullshit. Um,. Yeah, I guess I don't really know what scene he's talking about, but yeah. He, anyways, long story short, he's. I'm I'm fucking annoyed. Yeah, he's, I wasn't. I honestly wasn't that as annoyed before with this. Whenever I heard him speak about this stuff, I honestly wasn't. But to see him blatantly uh, come out with a high school uh, level of understanding of Watchmen annoys me. Yeah, to such a degree, and that's what carried through to uh, the DCEU. I want an uplifting Superman movie. I would love to see it. I love the original. I own it on fucking DVD. I'm not a DC. I have the original Superman movie with Christopher Reeves on DVD. I love that movie. That could exist today. It could. <laughs> Hold on here. Oh, you, you find a good juicy Zack Snyder quote? Zack Snyder wanted Holy to shit. make Superman turn evil, have uh, Darkseid turn Superman evil and not have him join the team again in uh, Justice League. Um, so that was his vision? So and, he doesn't turn back? Oh, hold on. And Dark Darkseed would have killed Lois Lane, somehow setting off a chain of events that destroyed the world. Whatever. That, so that was his Justice League movie? Yeah. So 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 in the Justice League movie, if you ever see it on the plane, that's the only place you should probably watch it. Uh, he comes back originally not knowing who he was, and he's evil. They fight him, but then they re make him realize that he's good. Right. So you're saying in his version, he would have stayed evil? For yeah, the whole movie? He, yeah, he wouldn't have brought him back right away, and then Darkseid would have killed Lois Lane. That sounds fun. That's a, that's a fun time. 
I'm glad J.J. Abrams st stepped in then, at least. And, and because that sounded like obliteration. Like now, now at least with J.J. Uh, Abrams uh, helping spin it positive, they were able to do Aquaman and Wonder Woman. You know what I mean? They were able yeah. to make this kind of soft Kind of work change. a little bit yeah. for them. Holy right. shit. Not J.J. Abrams. Who did that? Um, not fucking J.J. Abrams. I'm, I'm, all, I'm all fucking messed up. Uh, not J. Justice J. League director. Not J.J. Abrams. The uh, one that did uh, Avengers. Joss Whedon. Whedon. Joss Whedon. Joss Whedon. Yeah. All right, Snyder. All right. Now, I think I'm, I'm approaching E levels of hatred towards this individual. You're I just, hate to say it. He's just a troll. I think. I don't I, think he's a troll. I just He's so misguided. Yeah. He must have grown up in a really bad, bad house. Like, like no love or I don't understand how you can be okay. I don't want to see Spider-Man kill people. I just don't. Because because yes. because that's what the Punisher's because for, we're allowed to you know? idealize heroes in fiction. Yes, if fiction it's has, not reality. If fiction had to be realistic, we wouldn't have some of the best literature of our of our. Generation, you wouldn't have our, our Superman time. if yeah. it was reality. You wouldn't have a guy. You wouldn't on, have right. You, would have you wouldn't Super have these characters to <laughs> fuck over in their mouths <laughs> if, if 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 fiction had to be reality. Holy shit! All right, okay.